they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frowns. You can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. Is Lauren K. We had talk the town, and who's in the town today? Shawnee Bonnie. Probably snitching, caught him lacking without a sniff, and now they claiming his body missing life. Think it's funny, this shit not a game. Why the fuck I keep saying my name? Cause these bitches don't never be real as they claim. It took you a minute to get here, girl. It did. What's he? My fool, I'm here though. <laughs> <laughs> you here now, that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a game of rapid fire questions just to break the ice a little bit, okay? All right. So I'm gonna say question, you answer as quick as you can. First question, one celebrity you would want to be stranded on an island with? Tiana Taylor. Ooh, that's interesting. One word to describe you? Lit. What's your sign? Aries. What's your ethnicity? Black. What's your favorite song of all time? Anything G Herbo. Oh, damn. That's your favorite artist? What's your favorite pizza chain? Pizza? Mm -hmm. So like Domino's, Pizza Hut, oh, Papa John's. Domino's. What's the last text you sent? Um, somebody's coming to get you. Favorite album of all time? Um, Welcome to Faisal Land. Who's your favorite cartoon character? The kid from the Boondocks. Which one? Riley? With the braids. That's Riley. Riley. Okay, period. What's one word you couldn't spell as a child? Wednesday. <laughs> What's <laughs> the nastiest food you've ever eaten? Raccoon. You ate a raccoon? Mm-hmm. I okay. was in Alabama. They be trying shit. Yeah, we about to get to that because I got to know about that. And last question, what's the song you hate? Um, That On The Radar song that I got bitches. I got bitches. I don't, I don't know who that is. I hate that song. <laughs> yeah, he's talking just nonsense on that. Yeah. Now, back to you with this raccoon. Okay. Who convinced you to eat a raccoon? My uncle. Like, it's like I came in the house... And it was like a raccoon. They like washed it in the tub and shit. Like you see the mouth. Everything. It still looked like a raccoon. Mhm. Mm and they just cooked. It was spicy. I didn't like it. But they eat that like down south. That's what they do. That. You ever had frog legs? Nah. What'd I was offered it though. I Turn wouldn't eat that. I had that. The only two weird things I ate was that and deer. Deer tastes like chicken though. So the frog legs. Like, I never I had just that. feel like if it tastes like chicken, I'm gonna just eat chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so where did you grow up at? In the Bronx. In the Bronx? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how was that for you? Because I feel like we always hear the, the men talk about the Bronx. We don't really hear about the women talk about the Bronx. Um, I don't know. I feel like growing up, like, I can't picture me growing up anywhere else, like, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like the way we operate is different than every other borough. I feel like every borough is different, so. Why do you feel like the Bronx is different? I feel like the Bronx is just weird like i think the, i think the bronx just got a different type of energy like i feel like you meet somebody or you hear somebody talking you'd be like oh we could tell you from the bronx mm -hmm. okay so how did you start making music because my pops used to rap okay he would like make me do little raps here and there so then i just i started taking it like not taking it serious i just started like trying to go to the studio but i still didn't really like care about it too much it was something i liked mm -hmm. and then but yeah my dad is the reason why i started making music Okay, so when did you decide, like, this is what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a rapper. When I started to see people who can't rap just, like, like going crazy. Okay, you said if they could do it, then I could definitely get on it. Yeah. Okay, respectfully. Who is some of your musical influences? I know you said you was influenced by your dad, but what mm -hmm. about, like, in the musical realm? G Herbo. Okay. Um, definitely Lil Durk. Um, Female-wise... I like Tiana. I like Tiana Taylor. Like nobody really be listening to her, but I, I like not nobody be listening to her. She slept on. Let me not say nobody listens to it's her. It's really interesting that you brought her up during the because um, nobody would say that. Yeah. yeah. So what is it about her that you like? Especially you being a rapper. Like how do mm -hmm. you connect with her? I just like her style. I feel like she's different. Like you can't really compare her to nobody. I like Cole Ray too. Okay. Even though she she came out when I was already making music, but I really like her too. Okay, that's really interesting. So how do you pick your beat? Because I think your beats is very, like, they're always very much in your face. Like, it don't even matter what you're talking about. The beat is still, like, mad hard. Yeah. So how do you decide, like, this is something that I'm jacking? Like, I don't listen like, to beats at home. Like, when people mm. send me, like, I'll have, like, 100 beats in my email. But I don't listen to it. Like Why? Because when you do that, you gotta, you're got thinking too much. Like, you're okay. thinking, like, I don't do that. Like, I'll just go to the studio, and I'll just play some beats, and I'll just pick it. But I don't listen to beats at home. Hmm. So only what? way I listen to be at home is if I got a freestyle. That's it. Okay. So why does that change it for you? 
Because when you're listening to a beat at home, it, it don't sound the same as when it's in the studio. I'll listen to a beat at home, and it'll sound trash. Then when I go to the studio and I put my headphones in, like it sound way different to me. So what about a beat has to grab you in order for you to be like, nah? It can't stay the, It cannot stay the same the whole time. Okay. Like I like beats that like switch throughout the whole track. Okay. Have you ever had a song where you wrote the song and then picked the beat, or do you always pick your beats first? Um, I think I had a song like that before. But it was like on some... I was in the studio and I had a little bit of time left and I had nothing else to do and I just mm-hmm. had lyrics and I did it like that. But that's not something I do though. So what does your standard studio session look like? What do you need in a room? Who you need in a room? Like what's the vibes? Um, I invite like two, three people. I like having the same engineer. Okay. I need an engineer that like talk to me. Like I can't have an engineer that just sit there and let me do whatever. He gotta tell me this sound crazy, this sound mm-hmm. good. Like, um, we be having Migos. Like, we be lit in the studio. Okay. I can't just be in the studio dead. Okay, so you prefer to do it drunk, Kai, or both? No, nah, I don't smoke. I'd rather drink. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, drink. But I don't be drunk. Like, I'll just feel nice. Okay, so you don't be drunk. You just, yeah, I you never, just like, really got it. Well, I did get drunk for the first time in the studio, like, two weeks ago, but I'm not doing that again. How was that? I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Why? What happened? Because I was just, like, I don't know. I was just in there stuck, and yeah. I felt like it distracted me. So what's your writing process like? Do you write? Are you no? Nah, I don't write. And, I don't like make music till I go to the studio. Okay. So like, when I will get there. Yeah, I won't write at home. I don't do that. Maybe if if I do write at home, I'll do like a chorus. Okay. Or I'll write like like eight lines the most. And when I get to the studio, I just finish it there. Okay. So when you get in the studio, are you writing or are you just going in the booth going crazy? I'll go in the booth and then I'll like hear. I'll just keep on playing myself back and I just think of something to add. But I still write it so I can remember what I was saying. So how much input do you have on the production side of things? Like, I know you said you want your engineer to be talking to you. Um, are you sitting there with him? Like, no, this is wrong. This is wrong. Well, yeah, I, need this. I do that a lot. Like, yeah. I'll tell them to add this in it or add this or lower that. Or, yeah, I always do that. Okay. But I feel like a good engineer, like, you don't got to tell them that. Absolutely. So you being from New York, I feel like it's a common thing where people always say, like, New York rappers don't go as far as they should because New York is just divisive. Do you feel like New York is divisive, or do you feel like everybody's... I feel like everybody in New York be hating on each other. Mm. Like, when I go... That's why I like being down south. When I go down south, they show mad love. That's why people Mm. down south go up, because they show mad love. They support. They play you in clubs, all types of stuff. In New York, you have to be, like, hella connected. And then it's it's mad beef in New York. So even the people that do fuck with your music, some of them can't even, like, really, like, publicly Mm. jack you, because it's, like... Yeah. Oh, she fuck with this person. She like so. Yeah, I do feel like that. Okay, so real quick, going to the down south thing. You have fans down there? Not really. Like I'll have people share my stuff, down south stuff like that. But I I could go down south and walk through the mall and and be good. Like I'm not gonna have people like run up to me doing X Y and Z. Like I don't really feel like down south. I'm like I'm okay. not how I am here down south. Okay, makes sense. So with you being a woman, do you feel like the rap girl scene is divisive, or as divisive as New York is? Yes, because bitches be hating. Oh, shit. Okay, do you feel like that's a New York thing or just a bitch thing? I feel like I feel like in New York it's the worst, but I do feel like it's a female thing, too. Okay. It's not every female, though. Like, it's a lot of female rappers that, like, show me love and yeah. stuff like that. But I feel like the female rappers that show me love, we have nothing in common. That is very interesting to hear you say, because from the outside looking in, I feel like the, the New York girls are pretty, like... Like, y'all stick together, y'all support each other. So that's really interesting to hear you say that you feel otherwise. Some people, like, some people support just for the look of it, though. Mm. Like, like okay. I personally know somebody that, like, they was supporting me so it could be, like, it could look like we working together, but that's, you don't really fuck with me like that. Mm. You just want to, but that's just how I feel, though. Okay. Like, you, you, you know, if, like, I feel like if somebody feel like you're not competition, then that's when they support. Mm. That's T. That's what yeah. I feel like. That but me, like, I be supporting a lot of the, most of the girl rappers, but it's just, like, once you try to take it there and then y'all start doing music together, and that's when shit get weird. It be, mm-hmm. it be good at first, but yeah. then it just start getting weird. Yeah. I do feel like I hear your name from a lot of the, specifically, the New York girls. I hear your name a lot. Like that's why I say, yeah, I'm cool with most of them, but the yeah. ones that's already, like, somewhere, like, that's when they, like, mm. I don't understand that, though. Y'all already there. So right. Like, so one thing about True, the hair stays done. It's done mm-hmm. right now. Y'all see her. Mm-hmm. No lace. Hello. Hair stays done. And I think one of the most interesting parts about you is that you are talking like hot shit. Mm-hmm. But you look 
like, well, you said you're not a Barbie, but you look like a Barbie. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you turn that off and you get real, I'm a, what, what you say? What? Uh, and I'm going to act bad on a nigga. I'm going to throw my shit back on a nigga. Oh, yeah. I had to, that's my favorite line <laughs> in that song. That's why. So do you do that on purpose? Like, do you control your image? I just feel like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, that is kind of weird now that I think about it. But you I think it's weird? I think it's interesting. It's interesting in a sense, but I just feel like, like, I'll go to the stool right now, like, like this, my makeup done, and I'm still going to talk hot. Right. Like, but that's just me. I'm not doing that. I don't do that for an image. Okay, so, image. like, this is just you. I just care how I look. Yourself. Like, right. I always care how I look. Right. Like, I always was into, like, dressing up. But now I do wear more clothes, I would say. Like, before I would dress more, like, now I wear, like, more, like, I wouldn't really be wearing hoodies and stuff like that. Okay, so this is basically just the authentic Shawnee Barnes. I'm in my soft girl era. Oh, I love that. <laughs> we love that. We all want to be in our soul. Yeah, I'm girl in my era. soft girl era. I love that. So, is there a difference between the rapper Shawnee Barney and, like, the person behind the scenes Shawnee Barney? Yeah, I feel like, like, I don't know. I feel like people look at drill rap as just, like, negativity. Uh-huh. Like, but I'm not a negative person. Right. But I feel like most most of us, like, because everybody calls us drill rappers. We artists, but everybody calls us drill rappers. Mm-hmm. Most of us are dead-ass good people. Right. Nice people, funny people, lit people. Mm-hmm. We just don't like each other. <laughs> That's New York shit. Not for real. That's really New York shit. But everybody has a kind heart, but everybody's yeah. walking around mad. Yeah, like all her. of us are good people. We yeah. we fun, we funny, we lit, like, but we good people to the people we care about. Yeah. So do you consider yourself to be a drill rapper? No, I'm an artist, but everybody just labels me that. Okay, so how do you feel about that? It's annoying, but it's like, I get it because we drill rap. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's kind of like awful in a sense. So that's the way the world look at it. Right. So what do you think makes a a drill rapper or a drill song? Like, do you feel like it's the content or it's the beat? You just, all you guys have is a beat. So you feel like drill rap is the beat? Yeah. Okay. I feel like it because I never diss nobody in my songs, nothing. I'm still labeled a drill rapper. Right. So it's just beats. Okay, see, because I've heard people say that, like, you can't be a drill rapper if you're not doing drills. And, like, if you're not talking that hot shit in your songs, like, how could you be a drill rapper because a drill is X, Y, Z, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I guess New York found their way around that. (laughs) So do you feel like as a woman who's being labeled a drill rapper, do you feel like it's harder to break into the industry being that you're not, like, talking about sex all the time or you're not talking about how niggas ain't shit, like, you're talking, like, real shit. Do you feel like it's harder for you? I feel like if I didn't know how to do that stuff, it would be harder. Okay. But, like, I could go to the studio right now and make a song about how niggas ain't shit. Right. I could do that, but that's just not what my Instagram followers want to hear right now. Okay. When it comes to that, that is, like, it's not difficult to me. Right. A lot of people, like, without drill rap, like, they can't make music. That's tea. So what do you feel like? What dictates how you make your music? What the people want to hear or what you want to make? Nah, like, I'll go to the studio and make, I'll go to the studio right now and make a drill song, mm-hmm. a love song, and a ratchet song. Okay. And I just put out the drill song because that's what my followers want to hear. But like, right. in the long run, it's like, all right, when I want to do X, Y, Z, then. You have the ability to. Yeah. Right. So when BMG Upper Class said the whole, like, he wanted you and Maya and Kenzo to do the sexy thing, mm-hmm. the snippet that you put out after he said that, did you already have that in the tuck or you made that after he said that? I did that, like, a day before he said that. Wow. What a coincidence. That's why, that's why. And it's crazy because I wasn't, I wasn't even going to put that snippet out, like, no time soon. Mm-hmm. And then he just pissed me off, so I just did it. Okay, my follow-up question was, how did you feel when he posted that and why? I just feel like he was being a clout chaser, like, and I feel like he looked dumb because it backfired on him. One, because everybody was calling him a pervert, and two, because <laughs> I shitted on him with the trailer. So it's like, you try to, not trying to play us in a sense, because I understand what he's saying, but mm-hmm. I just feel like that wasn't something that you had to, like, put out there. You could have, like, DM'd us or some shit like that. Yeah. Now you did that, and now you look dumb. Now he asking me to be on his podcast. Right. I feel like, especially with you, I think that, it's super interesting because I always felt like out of all the, the drill girls, you were, like, you did talk that hot shit, but I feel like you was talking your, like, I threw I'm little things bitch. in you it, yeah. talking about niggas. Like, I just said that I'm going to act bad on a nigga. Like, I feel like you're, you've are you always done that. So it was interesting to me that he would even include Yeah, he beasting. That. He probably watched that shit, like, three times a day. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so Drake and 21 Savage just put out an uh, album. Did you listen? No, you're not interested. No, I just didn't listen. 
Okay. So who would you want to do that type of thing with? Like, who would you want to do a tape with? Like a whole tape, just me and them? Whole tape, just you and them. Dirk. Ooh. Definitely Lil Dirk. Okay, why Dirk? Because I feel like, I don't know, Dirk is just so real. Like, the stuff he talk about, the stuff he, like, he make people, like, understand what he say. Like, a lot of shit Dirk talk about, I've probably never been through it, but when I listen to it, I just feel like it. Okay, so he makes you feel his shit. Mm-hmm. So why Dirk and not G Herbo? Because I know you said that's your fave. I'd be nervous, Herbo. You think you would, <laughs> like, choke up? Yes. Okay. I'd be nervous with you ever, but nah, like all jokes aside, like I just feel like, I just feel like with, like I fuck with you ever the most out of any rapper, mm-hmm. but I just feel like with Dirk, like, I don't know, I just feel like the songs we will make would probably just be like. Make more sense. Yeah. And I do, I could see that because I feel like you be doing your melodic thing Yeah, I feel like that would make, yeah, like, yeah. you don't be singing. Right. Like, so that's what it is. That. So, pivot into TikTok. I saw you post that little commercial challenge where you were singing all the commercials, you know what I'm talking about? And I think you did pretty well. It was a couple that I knew that you didn't. I was surprised. Mm-hmm. But I, think I, I only didn't well. know, like, two of them. Okay, so do you be watching TV like that? No. No. I don't really watch TV. I watch, like, I watch, like, Hulu shows here. Like, I watch TV that everybody else watch, like, Power. Okay. I, I was about to ask, Empire. like, what you watching right now? Game of Thrones. I'm not a Game of Thrones girl. Me either. I never used to be into it, but it's actually good. But, like, nah, I don't really watch TV like that. Okay. But and then when I do, I watch it on my phone. Like, I don't like watching it on TV. I hate watching TV on the phone. I don't know how I only like it that. on my phone. Why? I don't know. On the TV, it made me fall asleep. It's weird. Okay. I can see that. But it's on the phone. It's just mad, like, small. You read subtitles? But I'm you up, subtitle though, girl? Yeah. Like, subtitles? You be reading the subtitles mm-hmm. on your phone? What phone you got? I don't know if phone this is. Is it the plus? Just tell me if it's the plus. I don't know. It got three. Cameras. That's the plus, y'all. I don't be knowing. I don't know if phone it is. Grandma. No. Yeah, none yeah, of us know. It's, it's just an iPhone and it works. We all know we got one. Nah, cause y'all be y'all be with the big ass phones, with the tablet phones. That don't look like a tablet phone to me. So nah, that's yeah, crazy not. that you reading them subtitles mm-hmm. on here. That's beastie. But nah, yeah, I don't watch TV like that. Okay, but you do watch Power. Yeah, I watch Power. Like all the shows that Fifty do, like Power, BMF. I watch all those shows. What's your favorite? Um, the show with with Terry, what's that? Ghost two. Ghost two. Mhm. Mhm. That's a fact. That's my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite. And I and I like BMF though. Okay. I like BMF, but the Ghost one is my favorite. I think that it's like neck and neck with the regular Power series, only because the regular Power series has mad seasons. Nah, I'm over the regular one. What? They had Angela in that shit for too long. She was supposed you to bang out. out of here. Yeah, <laughs> like it was just dragged out. Like with, I feel like with the one with Tyreek, it moved faster. Like it's always something new going on. Okay, so funny you brought that up. We about to play another game. So I know you got the song winning, great song. Everybody go stream winning. So I want to know who's winning in these scenarios. Okay, we are gonna play a game. <laughs> so I'm gonna read you the scenario, and you let me know who's winning in these scenarios or who won. Okay. Okay. So the first one is who won overall, Tasha or Ghost? Um, Being in season six, last episode, who you feel like won, Tasha or Ghost? Um, Ghost. Why Ghost? Cause I feel like Ghost is still in charge of shit and he's dead. But he died. <laughs> he's still in charge of shit though. That's true. I can see that. I was and I Tasha. Was Tasha ain't really had nothing without him. So it's like, and she went to jail. That's what it is for. That's me. what I'm saying. She ain't have nothing yeah. without him. Okay, so who won, Tasha or Angela? Tasha. I don't like side bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but Angela, well, nah, she got killed. So I don't like side bitches. Uh, side bitches care. All right. <laughs> so next situation, Irv Gotti put him and Ashanti's business all out there. Mm-hmm. And granted, the views for his docu series definitely went up. Everybody tuned in. Everybody wants to know what he said. But Ashanti basically ignored him, and then basically went on Angie Martinez's podcast. It was like most of it was cat. Mm-hmm. So who's winning in that situation, Irv or Ashanti? Whatever the what's his name, Irv. Yeah, he's losing. Why he lost? He lost when he said something about her in the first place. I agree. It was corny to me. Yeah, that's mad corny. Mad like, corny. I feel like a man, a man that pillow talk. Yeah, that's I what just, I'm saying. I can't. And then you did that like publicly, like you lame for that. Especially for her to have a whole different story than you. Yeah. It's like she don't even and for her to not even care. You. It's like yeah. you thought you was about to get now. He looks. Mad years later. Okay, so the next one. Krishan came up mm-hmm. and now, you know, she on shows and shit. Like mm-hmm. she got the bag, but now she got a nigga tattooed on her neck mm-hmm. and like she's known as Blueface's girl. Mm-hmm. So, who's winning in that situation? Krishan, Krishan I love Krishan. Or Blueface. And I got a nigga named Monique right here. 
Okay, let me just let you know. A couple bars down, we was gonna talk about that tattoo thing. Oh, okay. Yo, we was <laughs> my bad. Talk about no, that but I felt so though. Like, you know, I feel like Krishan is winning because now I feel like it was more so. Yeah, blue face bit, blue face bit. But Krishan, you see Krishan's name way more than blue face now. Right. Way more than blue face. Like right now, Krishan is basically giving blue face clout. So, do you feel like she's winning for now, or you feel like when it's all said and done, she's still gonna have one? I feel like she's winning. I feel like she's winning to us, but just not, like, mentally. I don't feel like she's winning. Hmm. Like, I feel like from the outside looking in, yeah, she's winning because she's lit. She came up, but I feel like mentally she still got, like, some shit with her that's, like, it's like she winning, but then when she going home at night, it's still, like, it's fucked up. I feel like that's a lot of celebrities. Mm-hmm. Who, like, you watch But I really, I really like, like her, too. Like, I really like Krishan. Even her music, like, I mm-hmm. fuck with her shit. I've actually never heard of Krishan, so I'm not going to lie to you. What's, she got some so-called Rainy Days. I like that shit. You know, I be, I, they be playing that in the car, you know. You'd be like, why are you playing it? Open minded. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Love that. So the next one, Cassie was with Diddy for ten years. Mm-hmm. I I wouldn't call it a waste of time, but it didn't amount to nothing. She moved on, got her husband, got her some kids. But now Young Miami is fucking with Diddy, and she's getting spoiled. You know, that's our city girl. She mm-hmm. she's getting the money, she's getting the cars, mm-hmm. the trips, all of that. So who do you feel like is winning, Cassie or Young Miami? Miami. Okay, why Miami? She winning because the media be trying to, like, the media will see Diddy with a bitch and try to, like, play her, like, oh, but Carisha, Carisha. Like, she don't She know. don't care. That's a fact. She does not care. She's getting spoiled. He's doing, like, he's not even, he's not even, like, treating her, like, putting her in the back, and he's putting her on songs. She definitely appears to be the main one. That's what I'm saying. He's, yeah. But I don't even feel like she cares about that. Like, it's just, like, it, she's benefiting from it. She's getting spoiled. She's putting right. music out. Like, That's a fact. I feel like she know what they got in agreement. That's what I, I definitely like. think they on the same page. I yeah. think that they probably laugh at the the fucking Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They got an agreement, so it's like she not losing. That's a fact. So Instagram has been around for 10 years, and I feel like the way Instagram has stayed around is by taking key components from other platforms, like the stories from Snapchat, to stay afloat. So right now they're trying to do the reels, which everybody's eating up, but they got that from TikTok, which is also definitely heating up. They've made waves in a very, very short period of time. And like I said, Instagram been around for that long. So who's winning, Instagram or TikTok? I got to say TikTok. Okay. But it's kind of weird. Because if you ask anybody what, what like their favorite app is, they're going to say Instagram. You jacking it? I don't think so. No, nah, I feel like because TikTok is it's everybody. It's worldwide. It's kids. It's... Okay. So it's like you can't ask everybody in the world because you know it's so many people on TikTok you don't know. But like I just started like really paying attention to TikTok like two nights ago and like I just keep scrolling watching stuff. Yeah. I actually did notice that about you. I feel like you yeah. post a lot more on, on Instagram. Instagram. Than you yeah, do but everybody telling me get on TikTok again. So but like, you give me TikTok, which is why it's so like like I feel like I could definitely see all your trailers and shit. I could definitely see them on TikTok. Yeah, doing good. But I just be me. Like I don't. I don't be thinking like let me record. I don't. I don't think like that. But now I will because I be seeing TikTok. Like TikTok is like real dumb, but it's funny and it, it really keep you up. I feel like it depends on your for you page. Yeah, my for you page is weird, but I like it. It's funny. Like what you got on there? Just mad. I don't know. To be honest with you, my for you page just be having mad sad girls talking about they got pregnant, they BD left, and <laughs> I'm telling you, my boyfriend was just asking me the other day. He like, Damn. why does this shit keep popping up for you? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> That's your algorithm. They trying to tell you something. I'm like, I don't know. That's what your he keeps algorithm saying. Think you sad or something? I don't know, and I dad be watching it too. That's the crazy part. <laughs> See, that's why it's up mm-hmm. there because they know they gonna keep you wrapped in. I just be scrolling. I don't know. So the next one, everybody says Ice Spice. Well, let me not say everybody. A lot of people say Ice Spice is trash, and like she got on because of light skin privilege or pretty girl privilege, whatever. Um, but everybody knows the songs. Everybody's mm-hmm. screaming every word to it. Mm-hmm. When you go out on Saturday, you got the hookah lounge shit going up. So who's winning, Ice Spice or the general public? Well, Ice Spice is winning. I also feel like, I feel like because people don't be in tune. Like, if you really know, Ice Spice has been making music for a minute. Mm-hmm. Like, she really, my manager showed me Ice Spice, like, two years ago. Damn, She's really? She's been making music for a minute, so I don't feel like she got light skin privilege. I think she waited her turn, got her song, and went up. Like, that's what I feel like. I actually didn't know about her until I started. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know, but like that's how you know people don't even do their research. Like if you look up her name, you'll see shit from Mal. Unless she took it down, but mm-hmm. I don't think that's light skin privilege. I think she just went up. Like, and it could be who you know. It could be like yeah. who connect. Like it could be like it don't gotta be. I don't know. People make everything about race. I don't know. And I think her shit fire. I think I don't think she's trash. Yeah, I don't think she's trash. Yeah. Okay. So the next one. Girls in drill versus the guys in drill. Who's winning? 
the girls is winning. That's why the guys is mad. That's why they want to clap us now. I'm telling you. So what is it about? With us, with the girls, like, if you if you really listen, the niggas is not saying anything. That's exactly what they're it not is. saying anything. They're just catchy. The girls we really rap like we're mm-hmm. really rapping. We're really talking. We're really. They're not saying nothing. I completely agree. I think that y'all like even y'all vocabulary the way y'all say yeah stuff, the way we like, yeah like y'all may more, be saying the same message but y'all got thirty like I, f- I feel like lyrically it. we're better like me personally mm-hmm. I just feel like lyrically we're better I just feel like. They got more of the fan base. They got more of, so that's cool. They diss more. They been on more drills, obviously, they niggas. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, I don't know. I'm going to just say we winning because the way they be talking about it. Listen, I'm with the girls. I think the girls got it. Yeah. So the last one, Bronxville, Bronx drill versus Brooklyn drill. Bronx. Brooklyn drill is like, to me, I don't know. Like, Bronx drill is more hype to me. I definitely do feel like Brooklyn Drill is more of a go to a spot, play a song, everybody vibe out, do shit like that. Really? Yeah. You go to a spot and they play Pop Smoke or whatever and everybody's okay. doing a little. But I feel like, because I feel like with Bronx Drill, a lot of people don't know what we're saying. I'm not going to lie to you, Shani. Yeah. It does take me a few That's listens. what I'm saying. I feel like, because that's why, that's why I feel like in a spot. <laughs> it really does. And like the, the Drill songs that's lit from the Bronx, okay, of course, like people know what the lyrics are, but like. When you in a spot and if you play like a random drill store, it's a lot of drill artists in the Bronx, mm-hmm. like a lot. So a majority of the time, like if you don't normally listen to that, you're not gonna know what we're saying. I feel like Brooklyn drill is more slow. It's more like they say their words a little bit more clear. But I just mm-hmm. feel like the Bronx shit is way more hype. It's better to me. I feel like four one has definitely changed the shit though, because I feel like they definitely more they're more hype. Yeah, but but you I can understand what they're saying, but I know like other people like if, if I play forty one in front of my mom, she's not gonna know what they're saying. Mm-hmm. So, speaking of not knowing what somebody's saying, I have a question for you. And I've always wanted one of you guys to answer this question. Mm -hmm. Define geek. Geek? Yes, please. It's just like a... (laughs) Like, is it a noun? Is it a verb? I think that's a... I don't don't know. It's just like a movement type shit. Okay. So, it's an action. Yeah. Geeking is like an action. Tweak is more so like... I don't know. So, then how are you a geek? Like, how can one be a geek? You don't see it. And if I'm, if I'm in a music video and I be doing shit like that. So if you're I be, geeking. Yeah, you're you geek. geeking. You dancing. You, like, mm. you geeking. And if you say tweak, it basically means, like, you can't fuck with it. Like, you okay. can't tweak with the geek. Are they synonyms? Like, are they they the same thing? No. Tweaking geek. It's, tweak, it's not the same. You cannot tweak with the geek. So it's <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know how I'm listening. It. You're enlightening me. All right, that's like if, that's like if I'm rapping. Okay. Let's, let's say I make a diss. All right, back. And I violate on the song. Mm-hmm. So the girl tried to diss me back. Okay. But she cannot tweak with the geek. I geeked on the mm. song, and she cannot tweak with it. She can't mm. fuck with it. Get it? It sounds like tweak is the action here. <laughs> it probably is the action, now that I think about it. Okay. I don't know. Either way, you can't tweak with the geek. Drill 101 with Shawnee Bonnie. Yeah. So, back to TikTok. Mm-hmm. On TikTok, you said you would get a man's name tatted on you. Mm-hmm. You standing on that? Yeah, I got it twice. Twice. Okay, same one. Mm-hmm. Mm. So what made you do that? What What does a nigga have to do to Shiny Bonnie to? I'm putting this on my body. Nothing. We was we went to get food mm-hmm. and we seen a tattoo shop by the food place and was just like we out. Impulsive. Oh, only thing a nigga gotta do is get my name too. Like okay. I would not get <laughs> a nigga name tatted. He don't got mine. Makes sense. Okay. So are you single? No. We know you're not. Right, my boyfriend's right there. Like. <laughs> and the thing is, Shani, I'm on your team. Okay. But I have to speak for the town. Okay. And the town wants to know who is this mystery. <laughs> <laughs> he over there. Don't show him. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the cameras can't flip. Oh, okay. So what you want to tell but the viewers? But why? Like, I, I just wouldn't. Sh- like, I don't just don't want to show his face. I don't know why. I it's crazy though because I've showed his face like twice before. Before I was on the whole not showing his face thing. I showed it like twice. I don't know if just nobody caught that. But mm-hmm. so what makes you feel like okay? I'm gonna keep this one private. I'm gonna keep this one me. Cause I just feel like people is like people weird. Like even if I when I post him and I block his face, how people troll me. I post him earlier and like. Everybody just, and I blocked his face, so everybody just troll me, troll me, troll me. Yeah. Like, they say he's Yagi B, they say he set the trend, they say he's block work, they say he's naughty. Like, that's annoying. Honestly, okay, so my very next question has to do with the comments. But the first time, no, 
and this probably wasn't the first time we said you posted him before. But the first time that I peeped it was when mm-hmm. you had posted that vacation picture. You posted some vacation picture. We was like, he was kissing my cheek or something like that. I don't remember the exact picture. I just know you was on vacation. And I went in the comments. And I see your comments like, mm-hmm. first of all, I was being nosy because I wanted to know who it was. So I was mm-hmm. looking to see what the people that was commenting. But then it was also a whole bunch of, I'm deleting her music right now. My yeah, I lost like 200 followers off of that. 200? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I so how like does that make y'all feel? That. Well, you and him. How does that make y'all feel? Well, I don't, I don't like me and him don't never really talk about it. Like he just mm-hmm. be like, I'll just show him a comment. He just laughs and be like, nah, they weird. But me, it gets on my nerves because it'd be okay. like, it'd be like, we take a cute picture, take a cute video, I want to post it. Damn, but I'm about to lose 200 followers. Like, right. That's crazy. If I post it on my story, I'd be good. Mm-hmm. I'll lose, like, maybe 20. But if I post it on my page page, mm-hmm. like, it's over. They don't want to see that. I think that's mad crazy because it's not like you fire and make trash music. I I'm feel saying. like the music is good and you're a rapper. So why are you, especially when you niggas never had a chance to begin with? And it's not even, but it's not even, it's crazy because it's not somebody that, like, make music that, like, Mm-hmm. No, it's not a rapper. It's not. I don't talk to people like that. Mm-hmm. Like so. You want to talk to a rapper? Like take them serious? No. Why not? Cause they're a rapper. Like bitches just throw themselves at rappers, and a nigga's gonna be a nigga. It's hard to just be like it'd it be fire, bitches, all types of stuff. I'm not dealing with that. That's a fact. I feel like a lot of women are under the whole like, well, if he buying me shit, as long as I don't find out, I'm cool. So that's not your. Yeah, mind. not me. <laughs> I could buy myself stuff. Period. I know that's right. Mm-hmm. So moving on to YouTube, because you real big in the YouTube drill world. So how did those videos start happening? Well, um, Nodi and all of them. Mm-hmm. I feel like I didn't even want to say a name because you be with Nodi, Booba. It nah, just like be it be. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, Nodi, um, Nodi hit me up. He was like, yo, I want to get you on this YouTube vid. Mm-hmm. And then I watched, like, a little... I, actually, I'm lying. I, I don't think I... I just, like, went through his page. Mm-hmm. I didn't go, like, directly to his YouTube. I just went on his Instagram. And mm-hmm. I, I seen some of the people he be with. I'm like, nah, what the hell? And then I was just like, I right, whatever. These videos look funny. Because he wanted to do me and Kenzo. That's why I was like, oh, okay, if it's us two, it's fine. Right. But I did not trust it, like... Because he was riding around a taxi cab. I didn't know that. So he comes to the front of my house in a taxi cab. So he was confused. I went, I went downstairs. My went from, like, oh, be safe, be safe. I went downstairs. I seen him. Then I seen, like, it was, like, a couple of niggas, like, by the taxi cab. But like, he didn't know them. I didn't know that at the time. Mm-hmm. And I ran back upstairs. Oh. So I told my boyfriend, like, nah, he's weird. <laughs> so my boyfriend came down with me with his ski mask. He came down with me and walked me to Nodi's car. Mm-hmm. Nodi opened the door. I'm like, oh, okay, this is really him. I'm good. Okay. So would you do your own YouTube channel? I feel like, I don't know. I would, but I don't want people to look at me as a YouTuber. Okay. You like, I feel like. First. I feel like YouTubers is, like, people, it depends on what my YouTube will be about. Like, I definitely can't go on YouTube and be silly and do goofy shit and then try to talk gangster in my rap and think people better take me serious. Like, that's mm-hmm. how I feel. Okay. So, would you do, like, vlogs? A vlog, yeah. But, like, all those silly videos, I'd rather just be a part of it than do it myself. So, when it comes to the pranks, right, do you get, like, a rundown before you get, like, before you link them? Mm-mm. Or it just be, like, everything yeah, is spontaneous? Yeah, it be, like, yeah. We just go and, really? yeah. So is there ever anything that happens in the videos where you like, all right, now, nah, like, you dead ass dragged it. Like, I'm not feeling that. Um, Like, I just had to tell him, like, not don't do the whole, like, choking shit and all, mm-hmm. like, don't do that because I got a boyfriend that's different. Right. Um, it be times where, like, I just have a reflex and I just smack the shot and he don't put that in his vids. Like, I don't know why. I heard you say that on the radar, that they be editing, editing the yeah. shit out because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He don't put that in his vids. I don't know why. So how did yeah, but it was e- it was even a time where I was doing a video mm-hmm. with somebody else, not Nodi. I don't talk to them now. But I was doing a YouTube video with them, and I didn't notice my two friends was watching me. They know I'm doing a YouTube video. They know we do skits. They know that. Mm-hmm. They're watching me, though, like, from a window. I did not peep. Okay. So, like, the person, like, grabbed me up, and my friend just, like, ran in the V and, like, deaded the whole thing. Stop putting your oh, hands shit. on her. But they know that's what, like, but they just didn't like it. So, so yeah. how does your man feel about it sometimes? He just, like, I don't, like, to me, he understanding with what I do, like. I love that. Yeah, he's my understanding with, like, what I got going on, what I want to do. Like, he he knows it's just, like, and then I introduce him to everybody, too. That's one thing. Like, he met anybody, I'll do a song, or he knows them. So it's, like, mm-hmm. effort. But he just don't like the whole choking and stuff. He don't like that. 
Respectfully. Yeah. I feel like that's great that he's mm-hmm. confident, he's secure, like he knows you, he trusts you. Like that's we love that. Because he be knowing we who I that. be around. Like I'll introduce him. I feel like that's important, like to introduce the person you deal with to who you be around. Mm-hmm, definitely. Are you friends with Nodi in real life? Mm-hmm. Love that. So yeah. it's more of a comfortable. Nodi Nodi's actually a really good person. Okay. Like, he's real sweet. Like, if I even post something on Instagram that seems sad or something, he's like, you could call me. You could Like, he's so sweet. Aww. He's mad cool. Aww. And he got a girlfriend, too, and his girlfriend is the same way. Like, she, yeah. like, we just did a video together. So genuine shit. It's so genuine. Yeah, it's everything is genuine. genuine. So is anything exaggerated for the cameras? Um, or like well, I mean, of course, scenes, like, I, I'm not really going to, I'm not really going to knock out his bitch. Like, of course. So stuff like that, <laughs> yeah, I'm not really going to do that, but. Yeah, for the most part. It's because kids watch it. It's what kids like. Okay. So, who's in your playlist right now? Who are you listening to right now? Let me check my phone. Oh, she about to give us the authentic answer, y'all. She going right to the phone. Um, Dougie. Okay. Lil Baby. G Herbo. Set the Trend. Kyle Rich. Lil TJ. Krishan Rock. Yagi B, Stun Again B, though. Like that. Like, so like that. Okay. So, Dougie, all of them. How did y'all become friends? Um, Because we all have a lot of mutual friends. Okay. Like, but once everything, like, I was fucking with my management first. Mm-hmm. And then they started, like, getting into my management. So they started coming around more. And then that's how. Like, I would always know who they was and stuff like that, like, off of mutual people, but mm-hmm. more so, like, being around each other a lot and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It was from management. I feel like everybody in the Bronx know each other. Or know of each other, yeah. yeah. Like, if you name somebody, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I know who that is. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That shit is crazy. The Bronx, the Bronx is small. Is you feel like it's small? I feel like the Bronx is mad big. Every time it's I go big, to but it's small. Yeah. Like, half of these, the places that got beef with each other and shit like that is, like, mad close. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't honestly. I just can't bother with the Bronx. I don't mm-hmm. trust with the Bronx. I just ugh, can't. So, what's one song or artist that the public would be surprised that you listen to on a regular, or that you really, really like? Um, it's some song by Doja Cat. What's it called? Vegas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people won't think I listen to music like that. So you do. I be listening to all types of music. Okay, because you did name a lot of rap. Just now, so yeah, I, I listen, to, no, yeah, I listen to all types of music. Okay, what type? Like, you go as far as like country, you listen the to only, country not the only country song I liked was that song with Lil Nas X. Okay, I, I was, still like it though. I thought she was gonna give me some like <laughs> deep in the country, no, not like shit. that, I but like I listen what? to singing music. Like, I like Summer Walker, I like mm-hmm. all types of like, I don't just, I don't even listen to like, I don't be on my phone or then listen to drill music. Like, I don't mm-hmm. do that. Do you listen to your own music? Not really. Like sometimes I'll I'll listen to my I listen to my unreleased more than I listen to stuff that's out. Why? I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I always do that. Like I'll listen to my unreleased, and when I put it out, I was like, I don't listen to it. How do rappers feel about their own voice? Because like I feel like regular people when we talk, usually people don't like the way their voices sound. Like on me, camera. like I ain't like. I didn't used to want to rap because I used to be like more on some singing vibe because I feel like when I rap, my voice was too high. Okay. Now my voice is getting a little bit lower, but it's still high. Like. So do you find it annoying or you're like, okay, like this is me? And it my depends. Like, like one one track, I feel like my voice sound annoying and the next track, I feel like I leveled it right. Mm-hmm. So it just like, it varies. Okay. So how often, what percentage of the time are you listening to yourself? Mm. Like, is it regular or is it just like Like a, you have like, if I, I don't listen to myself every day. Mm. Like I don't. So how do you? Pick I up like on my them? music though. I fuck with my. I fuck with myself. I like mm-hmm. how I rap, but I just don't listen to it every day because I'm gonna get tired of it. Okay. So how do you pick up on like, okay, this next song I want to do this better, or on this next song I feel like I want to give X Y Z. No, I don't, I don't. But to do stuff like that, I don't really listen to my old songs. I just okay. think of an idea and be like, I know what I want to do because I don't like to be repetitive. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. So you said you was putting out a project on your birthday. Oh, you also yeah. said you were Aries, which means uh-huh. that passed. Uh-huh. So what's tea? What are we getting this project? Well, it was mad stuff going on. My boyfriend got arrested on my birthday. Oh, wow. My birthday was crazy. Around uh-huh. my birthday was crazy. Like, it was just, like, Hectic. bad timing. Mm-hmm. But now, 
I feel like, and I also feel like it's just my birthday. Like, I feel like I wanted to be more, like, sentimental, so I wanted to put a project out on December 31st because that's my cousin's birthday that passed. So okay. I still got the songs. I just mm. didn't want to, like, you know okay. what I'm saying? So December 31st is the date. All right, yes, yeah, December 31st. December 31st, y'all. That's what December you said. 31st. You okay. heard that, Aunt? December 31st. So are you changing any of your songs, adding, subtracting, or, like, it's staying exactly? I have, now nah, I have songs where I've added more verses, like, all types of stuff like that. Okay. So are you signed? No. Are you looking for a deal right now? It's, like, it's a lot going on. Okay. You like the independent route for now? Nah. No. It's not that I like it. It's just, like, I feel like they try to give the girls the back end. Like, mm. like they look at us as, like, I don't know. The shit they be doing for the guys, they don't do that for the... They, I feel like they think girls is, like, worth less. And I also think that it has to do with, like... I've heard a lot of execs say, like, women cost more money. We do, because we yeah. get our hair done. Right. We get our nails done. We get our makeup done. So the yeah. shit that y'all could give to guys, like, all they're going to do is buy clothes. Niggas don't even be really getting shape-ups, all types of stuff. So it's like... Niggas don't have... But they still go broke, though. So it's like... Yeah. And so I if, if, a, if, a, if a nigga is going broke... And all he's buying is clothes, not no crib, not no car, yeah. no nothing, just clothes. Like, what do you think is going to happen with a female when we got to do our hair, we got to do our nails, we got to do our makeup? That's a fact. And I think that women, the return on investment is way greater. Because mm-hmm. when women ride for you, like, mm-hmm. I'm sure you got the girls behind you and your fans probably love you down. Like, I feel like sometimes men don't really have that. It just be like, a, okay, this song is hot. Nah, you know what it is with men? The fans be mixy because they don't. They'll have fans, but then they fans is also listening to the people dissing them and all mm-hmm. types of stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like with us, our fans are a little bit more loyal than that. Yeah. My and fans, my fans will be like defending me all types of stuff. Right, and I feel like it's like a thing where men be so prideful they don't be wanting to like seem fanned out over a nigga. Mm-hmm. But a girl, they'll be like, oh yeah, I listen to Shawnee Bonnie, I listen to Kenzo B, I listen yeah. to Young Devin. So yeah, they get shown much more support. So does your family listen to your music? Mm-hmm. How do they feel about it? And how do they you just feel about them listening to it? They just they just be mad supportive. Like, mm-hmm. I, just, I feel like that's what they're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But I also feel like, I just feel like, like, I respect, like, certain shit. Like, my aunt, like, I'm, I'm mad close to my aunt, and she'll tell me, like, she like, I'll give you my Instagram password so you can share your stuff. Like, I'm not going through that. I don't listen to that. I don't listen to what you make. I'm not, I just, I support you. Showing support. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like stuff like that. Like, don't, don't let me come in the family function and you playing my music just because I'm walking in. Like, right. If you want to do that on the regular, or if you're not going to do it, like it don't either way, it don't bother me. Like, so I heard you say on the on the radar interview that your dad is not really too fond of drill. Mm-hmm. Has his opinion changed? No, no, he just listened to you. Yeah, he listened to me, but my dad be like, like he sees everything. Like he's gonna see this. Mm-hmm. He like he sees everything. Like he'll see the comments people say about me. He'll see As niggas he talking should. crazy about me. Like so, he just feels like my dad feel like it's just. My dad just feel like drill is just an, is negative because it's talking on that, it's this, this, it's that, and he mm-hmm. just feel like it's fake, like no way out of it once you're in it. Right. So on that same tip, when I listen to feelings, you're talking about like you losing people that really matter to you and like family problems. So how does it make you feel when people deem drill as like this negative genre, this like where you, like you said, people's only smoking on deads and shit when it's people that's talking real life? I feel like... Like, with me, I understand it. Like, a lot of people will be like, oh, I don't, like, how do you say, oh, I don't respect this person for talking on the deads or, like, this and now. Even when they talk about the little boy, mm-hmm. what's, um, Naughty. Naughty. yeah, when they talk about him, like, mm-hmm. oh, but that's a kid, that he's a, but it's like, but that's what they was into. Right. That's what they was talking about. They're not talking about that stuff for no reason. They're not talking about it. For, yeah, it's for views, in a sense. Mm-hmm. But they not just a random person that's rapping about it. They're outside with these people who And this is what's happening. Yeah, so it just to me it is what it is. So what do you think drill is gonna be within the next five years? I feel like drill drill did not just start. That's what I feel like. I completely Chicago agree. been on drill and all type of stuff like that. I feel like yeah. drill's always gonna be around just in different sounds. Like right now, drill is the whole Batman voice in X, Y, and Z. And five years from now it'll just be different type of drill beats. People still gonna be talking on that. It's just gonna be like it's gonna sound different, but it's still gonna be drill in some sense. Okay, so where do you see yourself in five years? I definitely, I don't. In five years, I will not be making drill music. Okay, that I won't do because it's gonna be different. Like it's gonna be the 
other people time to start like showing their side of drill like right so yeah. do you feel like you'd adapt to a new form of drill or do you feel like no. you'll be past that as an i feel like i'll be past that okay so you feel like and i'll be i'm gonna be 25 in five years what do why would i want to get on a drill soon yeah so you feel like drill is a stepping stone i just feel like like i'm not i'm not taking a 30 year old drill rapper serious okay i'm gonna just be like like what is he doing Okay, but there are older drill rappers. They are, but if you in a like, it looks stupid if you were older drill rapper and you speaking on little kids. No, that's a fact. That's what I like don't that like. That part's a young man's game. Yeah, most of the older drill rappers stuff like that, like they trying to insert themselves in little kid shit. Mm-hmm. That looks dumb, and little kids is on that. They're definitely. <laughs> they are. Like so that, that looks dumb to me. So, as far as rap goes, do you see yourself? You said in five years you're gonna be twenty five. Do you see yourself still rapping at least? No, yeah, I see myself still making music. Okay, but I feel like I'll be more so into like like I want to be into shows, movies. Like I want to be on TV. I want to just do all that. Like I don't want to just make music. That's okay. why I like Tiana Taylor, right. and um, I like Tiana Taylor and um Taraji, because mm. they like she can sing. Mm-hmm. She in mad movies. She's in shows. Like I like stuff like that. So what type of stuff do you see yourself acting on? It can't be nothing boring. It can't. It gotta be like. I feel like I gotta be me. Like, what I like about Taraji is when I see her in a movie, I know what role she about to play. She mm-hmm. gonna be crazy. She gonna have mad personality. Like she's her. I like that. I don't. I don't want to like change myself just to be in character. If that makes sense. Of no, course, I you gotta you gotta see. switch a certain stuff, certain things around. But like, yeah. I feel like you, if you could still be like with Cardi B, they put her in a movie. They let her be a stripper because it's about stripping. Like right. I like that because that's her. Okay, so a lot of actresses feel like, though, they don't want to be put into, well, typecasted, so they don't want to be put into the same type of roles. You would want to be Shawnee Bonnie every time. Like, mm-hmm. you don't want to go Not every him. time. Of course, not every time. I want it to be too repetitive, but I also don't, like, I don't want to be, I don't want to go, like, how I think, but I don't want to go in a movie and be, like, emo. Okay. Like, that don't make sense. That's emo not me. Shawnee is mad. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to go in a movie and be an emo. <laughs> Okay. So it's just, I feel like certain stuff is just, they try to change you too much. Like, that's not me. Got it. So, on your Instagram, I seen that she was up at High 97 with Flex. Mm-hmm. So, what happened with that whole thing? I don't even know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Like, I really don't know. Did you do a freestyle? Yeah. Oh, period. Okay. So, how I just don't know where the freestyle is at, that's what I'm saying. It'd be like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, how was that whole experience being up there? How did that even happen? It was cool. Um, that's why I, that's why I was saying label stuff. That happened like label stuff, whatever, blah blah. Okay. But um, it was cool. I was nervous at first. Then I re- but Flex was mad cool. Like he was like real confident. It's just my friends is mad ghetto, and want to um sit in Flex chair talk about Juanita dropped the beat, <laughs> and they kicked him out the room. So I now I know who to bring outside with me and who not to. <laughs> <laughs> so do you feel like that experience like? Like, was it humbling for you, or, like, was it, like, a, damn, like, I'm really with Flex right now? It was basically like that, because that's something, like, that's really something I always wanted to do, like, mm-hmm. always, like, since I was younger, like, being on Funk Flex. Mm-hmm. So, it is the end of the year, November, Thanksgiving is coming up, so what's one unpopular Thanksgiving opinion that you have? Unpopular? Mm-hmm. Um... Like, is there a food that everybody likes that you don't like? I don't like like stuffing, but I feel like a lot of people don't like that. I don't either. That's what I'm saying. I don't. Um, Um, Is it a certain way your mat got to be cooked? You don't like your food touching you do? This year, I'm not going to a bunch of different houses because I do not have a car, and Ubers do not be coming on Thanksgiving. (laughs) Ubers don't be coming. Ubers don't be coming on Thanksgiving. There be no Ubers, no cabs, nothing. So that's what I'm not doing. I'm not going from house to house this year. I got a whole separate bone to pick with Uber. I feel like Uber, you be in a rush, they take 18 minutes. Mm-hmm. When you ready this for them saying. to take time, they yeah. be in two minutes. It's, yeah. it's I'm not okay. I'm not going house to house this year. Maybe that's... Okay. So what's your what's one Thanksgiving rule you have? Like, do somebody got to make a certain dish? Do something have to be on your plate at all times? My Mac like, and yams got to touch. Mm, okay. I know that's a popular thing. I don't really like the You combo. don't like that? I don't like the combo. So you eat it separate? You eat Absolutely. yams with nothing? I eat yams by themselves. I can't do that. I'm a. I don't really like my food to touch. To be honest, I don't I really can't do that. I don't like. Like I can't. I can't eat candy yams with nothing. That's you disgusting. You don't like yams like by themselves. No, only with mac and cheese. And my collard greens gotta have hot sauce. 
I don't like hot sauce on shit. You don't like hot sauce? Not on my chicken, my fish, my collard greens. I like hot sauce on everything. Mm, my mom's like that. Mm-hmm. So what's on your Thanksgiving plate? Um, chicken, Your perfect Thanksgiving plate. Chicken, mac and cheese, candy yams, collard greens. I need coquito. You like eggnog? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it be mad stuff. Like, my family be making mad different stuff. They'll have jerk chicken. They'll have curry chicken. they have everything. But you said the true African-American, no? They just be trying shit, I guess. They I know, know how to make right. it, though. Like I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. That's super interesting. So mm-hmm. they don't even be cooking just the plain. No, they make food. everything. Spanish food. They make all that. Okay, it's like a big Thanksgiving or it be small? It be big. It's, it's so big that, like, Thanksgiving be at, like I said, I'm not going house to house this year. So wherever mm-hmm. I'm at is where I'm at. Because it'd be, like, different houses. Like, my aunt would do something in her house. Then mm-hmm. we go into my other aunt. Like, after we done in her house, we go into my other I'm staying in one house. Respectfully. So, keeping with the end of the year thing, Token of Town Awards is coming up. So, what Token of Town Award do you feel like you should get this year? What's the, like, award things? Like, what's the... Um, we got Energetic, Most Disrespectful. What else we got? Female, best, best Female, Best Male. Um... I feel like it's a whole lot of categories. I don't be. I don't know. I, I'm not even going to say it because if you don't give it to me, be tight. So just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, okay, well, I'm going to say it. I think that your energy is definitely up there. Probably, but, like, I feel like by energy is, is more so, like, you got to think about videos. Like, I be having energy maybe in my, my trailers and stuff like that. But when I do videos, I stop acting so crazy in the vids for some reason. So maybe not. Really? I was I don't, watching. I feel like I feel like also also with energy is more like people that go live and be screaming at their phone and violating. That's energy. That's not energy know. to you. All the, all the people that you post, the, the people that you have posted in the past, where you say energy, they do weird shit like that. I feel like you could be on live all day and have a whack ass oh, song. I thought that's why you would pick them, huh? I feel like you could be on live all day and have a whack ass song. You could be on live all day and talk better on a lot of things you do on your song. Yet, I feel like true. your song, like I said, you give me, like, energy. Even in your, um, you posted a behind the scenes where you was dancing in front of the blue wall. You know what I'm talking about? No. You was in a store and you was dancing. I don't know, like a mask thing? I had, like, my you had on. hood. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was And you that was, was dancing. Feature. Like, that was energy. So I feel like you would definitely be up for, for most energetic. You heard that? Yes, I was. That's T. Oh, okay. For the record, you had my vote. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. You had... Me? <laughs> I will. Okay. So that's that's T. So let the people know where to find you. Instagram. Let the know what to look My for. Instagram is Shawnee Bonnie. TikTok, it's Shawnee Bonnie. YouTube, Shawnee. Everything is Shawnee Bonnie. Just look up Shawnee Bonnie. Everything is Shawnee Bonnie. All right. We got Talking to Town and we are.